I knew the injury was bad, but I didn't know how bad it was until I saw the story. I, I didn't know it was that bad. She's talking about our story that took us inside JPS's hospital trauma unit, showing in real time the incredible work that these medical professionals do each and every day. Now, when the story aired, we purposely kept the identity of the patient who nearly lost her life confidential. But tonight, she wants to come forward. Courtney Utter is her name. She's ready to talk with us and with the very team that gave her a second chance. And she's ready to share the steep price that she's had to pay. How are you? How are you? How very humbling is the moment it's a little surreal. <laughs> when you meet the people who are the very reason you're still here. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. If I wouldn't. I don't, I don't think the outcome would have been as good as it, as it was without their quick thinking and quick actions. Hey guys, we need in here. She was released from the ICU three days ago. Quick is how things unfolded when we watched Courtney Utter arrive at JPS Trauma back on January 11th. Just make it a level one. In that desperate moment that she was rushed in, the first person she saw is nurse Hunter Smith. Now we have And this is the first time they've seen each other since that day. I remember picking you up out of your wheelchair and putting you on the stretcher. They hammer into us the, you know, the ABCs, but in trauma, typically it's blood loss. It kind of clicked with everybody in the room, so we're like, okay, we need, to, we need to get tourniquets on you. What we couldn't share then was that Courtney's injury to her left arm actually stemmed from a Christmas Day ATV accident. But then 17 days later, in front of her husband and here in the comfort of their home, her vascular graft broke open. Her husband, Steve, is the reason the JPS trauma team even had a chance. I loaded her up in my truck and held on to her arm trying to keep the, the bleeding down. And once I, once I grasp it like a tourniquet, uh, it slowed down. Hey, it's Gandhi. We have a level one that needs to go. We're going to be taking her straight to the operating room, OR9. Courtney was bleeding. I mean, you could see the blood trail. And on the floor. On the floor. You're in the right place, OK? Our cameras captured those critical moments that Courtney doesn't even remember from the trauma bay to the operating table in less than five minutes, watching the team save her life, then knowing the price would be losing her arm. I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to look at it. I didn't want to, I didn't want to accept it. We always take care of our patients as if they're our own, right? So if Courtney was my sister, what would I do? And that clears up any kind of uh, confusion at all. Right? I know exactly what I'm going to do for my sister. I know exactly what I'm going to do for Courtney. It creates a little bit of heat, but okay. not much. Okay. Courtney has since started down the path to her new life, learning to use a prosthetic arm, but also processing the fact that the simplest things are now sometimes the hardest. I can't hold a pen. Right. I, my writing is atrocious. Yeah. I can't put my hair up in a, in, a, in a ponytail. While January 11th will always remain a blur for Courtney, what Dr. Gandhi, Sarah, Hunter, and the rest of the JPS team did for her that day will always be very clear. It just doesn't seem like thank yous even enough. It doesn't come close to what they did. Thank you just doesn't seem like enough to say. So it's a really unique opportunity. These kind of reunions, they just don't happen, right? But uh, in all of this, Courtney is doing really well down her road to recovery. I'm happy to report she's fine, and humor is helping along the way. And I'll share a couple, like the irony that her amputation had to be done on Friday the 13th. And she laughed when she told me that. And since then, she only has one arm, obviously. Her hubby, Steve, has watched countless YouTube videos on how to braid and ponytail hair to the point where he says he is ready to open a salon. He has gotten that good. And tonight, I texted with Courtney, and she sent me a text message just a little while ago. says, another small victory is I tied my shoes. Wrap your mind around wow. that. One hand to use forevermore. And she's learned already how to tie her shoes. And she's at uh, Baker Prosthetics and learning to use this new arm. And they'll graduate where it starts short and then gets a little longer, a little longer. And eventually, if she chooses a hand involved or something. Really about. learning how to live again in a whole new way. Yeah. And, and the fact that she's so grateful and Steve to the trauma team, obviously. And again, this all was born out of the, out of the, the backstage pass that JPS gave us to share with all of you the work that these incredible medical professionals do day in and day out 
and we never get to see it. We are so lucky to have these health care professionals right yeah. here in our backyard. That we are, and I know the others are grateful for them. Yes. Thank you. You bet. Great story. And, and thanks, thanks to her husband others. as well. Yeah, and yes, thanks to Stephen Courtney for, for allowing us to share your story. We appreciate it. Yeah.